This is my most important advice for jade hunting in Washington State. Try to identify the materials in your surroundings. Stones in your surroundings should match the materials in which nephrite jade can form. By learning the types of rocks nephrite jade can form in or with, you can know which other rocks you can expect to find around jade, especially in placer deposits. In Washington State, I usually find ultramathic and igneous rocks where I find jade. For example, serpentine stones, serpentinite, and gabbro are some of the materials I notice around nephrite jade in Washington. Differentiating jade from other stones can be tricky, however some jade pieces are obvious, especially as pebbles. Washington State's placer deposits can be scarce or large. Massive water flows disperse many different deposits around Washington State. Western Washington is covered with foliage, so rare placer deposits can be tricky to isolate. River jade stones may have traveled far from their hard rock source. The hard rock deposits may not match the placer deposits in the same area. Identifying the rocks around the jade is my most important advice to tell whether there could be jade in a given area. 